What if I told you that you can make your own pre-workout that's cheaper, more effective, and safer? Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. This video, we're gonna talk about supplements, and I'm gonna show you how to make your own pre-workout. I think this is very important because I get a lot of questions about supplements, and everybody wants to know which one should I take. And if you notice in the comments, I really don't reply to those because the answer is very complex. I know the answer you want is that go on Amazon, click this pre-workout, and this is gonna work for me. Now the problem is there isn't a one-size-fits-all pre-workout because there isn't a one-size-fits-all body. Everybody's bodies are different. So when I was looking to build my own pre-workout, I reached out to Nutricos, and the reason is I've been using their creatine for years. And I like to only talk about products that I actually use. So because I have somewhat of a following on YouTube, I thought maybe they can send me some products and I can make my own pre-workout and test it to see how it works. Now, even though this video is about making your pre-workout, the thing you're gonna enjoy the most is the results because I track every workout. And so what I did with this experiment was I didn't use any pre-workout at all, no creatine, no nothing. I did that for almost a month just to see what the results were there. And then I made my own pre-workout and the results were amazing. This is actually the best part of the video in my opinion. Now first, let's talk about what I used and then we're gonna talk about what I recommend for other people. So first I use L-arginine and L-centraline. Now I know these sound scientific, but let me break it down for you. So what this does is increase nitrogen oxide in your blood. And what that is, is gonna make it so that you have more blood flow so this is gonna increase your pumps, get your kind of veins popping there, and it's gonna give you a lot more energy throughout your workout. With more blood flow that we can get to the muscle, it's gonna help repair the muscles faster to build faster. Also, the common words you hear when it comes to resistance training is gonna be hypertrophy. And hypertrophy is really the thing that maximizes that blood flow and that pump so you can get those gains. So the more nitrogen oxide that we have, the better blood flow we have, the more oxygen we have, and the better results. Now next we have the cordyceps mushrooms. And what that's gonna do is that this is also gonna give you sustained energy through ATP. And ATP is a thing that's gonna help you complete your sets and your reps. Now this is a natural form of getting ATP and studies have shown by using the cordyceps mushroom, it really increases your energy. And speaking of ATP, the most researched supplement out there that really helps you rebuild that ATP the most is going to be creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate is the foundation of ATP. Now this comes in a powder form and I use five grams daily. So to explain more about ATP is that as you exert energy, when you're either lifting weights, using resistance bands, and speaking of bands, I got a lot of videos that's gonna show you how to work out with resistance bands, but this is for people of all workouts. When you're doing those reps, you're depleting that ATP. So if you're a person who trains out consistently and hard, you're really gonna deplete that quickly. Now you can supplement it with food, but there's not a lot of foods out there that's really going to replace ATP to the level that you need to perform at your best every time at the gym. And let's keep this in mind when it comes to supplements. Supplements are not gonna change everything with it, but it's gonna put your body in the most optimal state and able for you to perform when you are lifting or using resistance training. Now in the middle of editing this video, I forgot to talk about the most important supplement that I take on a daily basis. And that's actually a multivitamin. Now I don't really use this as part of my pre-workout, but it's great to make sure that if you're a person who doesn't like vegetables or get your daily nutrition in, you wanna just start off for a base level, and this is for everybody that I recommend, is a good multivitamin. I use the one by Nutricost. I've been using it for years. I just take it every day to make sure I get my essential nutrients and needs met. Now back to the video. Now the last thing I use is caffeine. Now I know what you're thinking, like I just drink coffee in the morning, which is great. But if you're a person who doesn't weigh out their grams or you're looking at the exact milligrams that you're having as far as the caffeine content, it can vary a lot if you're just using coffee. I've got nothing wrong against it. I love coffee. I French press every day. But the key is consistency. So one tablet of the Nutricross caffeine will give you about 200 milligrams of that energy. If you go down on Amazon and you look at all the pre-workouts ingredients, you're gonna see the main ingredient is caffeine. 
Now, how does caffeine work? Now, listening to a sleep study expert, Matthew Walker, he talks about something called melatonin. And melatonin is actually what helps you get to sleep. Now, the way that melatonin works, it convinces your brain that it's darkness. And that darkness will lead you into sleep. Now, what coffee does is the exact opposite of melatonin. A lot of people look at it as something that gives you energy, but what it's actually doing is convincing your body that it's daylight. That's why coffee revolutionized the industrial age. So when coffee was introduced in the workplace, people can be more productive for longer hours. Now, another thing coffee does is help you with that mental focus. That's why when people are getting ready to do some work, they drink a cup of coffee because it keeps you more in the zone. And being more in the zone is really gonna help you with your workouts. A focus muscle is a better muscle. I feel like that needs to be on a t-shirt. Now, the good thing about making your own pre-workout, for whatever reason, you can't have caffeine, like right now, Mrs. Discipline Dave and I are expecting, and she can't have caffeine. So that's why it's better to make your own pre-workout. Now, what should you do? What do I get when it comes to it? Now, I show you that I'm using these right here, but the thing is, like I said before, everybody's bodies are different. What I recommend is actually getting your blood work done first. So once you get your blood work done, and what I recommend is a full blood panel that measures your nutrients levels and your hormone levels, because we need to see where you're at. Because let's look at what a supplement means. A supplement supplements something that you're deficient in. So you need to check what you're deficient in. It's not about taking what I take or taking what, what anybody else tells you you need to or the top three when it comes to pre-workouts. It's about what do you need to put your body in the most optimal level. For me, when I got my blood work done, I saw that I was low in vitamin B. And once I started supplementing with that, I saw a boost in my energy. Now, I don't have it in my pre-workout cocktail, but I do have it as a separate supplement. And that's a good thing about what NutriCost can do. They also have other supplements you need that are not a part of pre-workout and a lot of vegan options also. Now, NutriCost isn't paying me. They did send me these products. So I'll just make sure that I keep that very clear. But if you take a look on Amazon, they don't really cost that much. And the only thing I'm making it off of it is from an Amazon affiliate link in the description below, and that's just pennies. Trust me, it's not something that I'm trying to promote to make money off of. I just wanna make sure that I can help people pick the right supplements and stop doing this one size fits all, 40 to $50 pre-workouts that you don't need and you can spend less, get better results and get them catered to you. Now this part of the video, like I said, that I find the most phenomenal. When you get the supplements that are designed for you, if you make your own supplements, I wanna show you some of the results that I have. So I'm gonna put up here, this is what I was doing without the pre-workouts. And as you see here, this is not exactly scientific. What it is, is I'm showing you my calories burn, how much time I worked out, how my heart rate was. And as you see, I'm outputting a lot more energy when calories burn when I was using a pre-workout versus when I wasn't using a pre-workout. Now, when I wasn't using the pre-workout, I had no idea I was gonna make this video. I had no idea that NutriCost was gonna send me this. So I'm putting my max effort. I'm not skewing the results for the video. I was actually in the process of purchasing pre-workout and that's when I had the idea to do it because I went for a while without using it. So these results are with my max effort. And as you can see, when I made my own pre-workout, I had a very elevated level of output. And since this is a science channel, I'll just let you know that Mrs. Discipline Dave had really noticed a difference in my body as far as definition and muscle. Now, if you're interested in the supplements I take or just NutriCost in general, I have a link in the description. Make sure you check that out. I have everything listed there. It'll be Amazon. If you want to purchase them, it'll be very quick shipping. And if you're motivated by this video and you're ready to get ready to work out and you don't know where to get started, I highly recommend checking out this video. You can start at home today with resistance bands. And these are ones that I really recommend that I've been using for a year. And watch this video to find out why.